How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 15 in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 series. And in this video we're going to be going over passing in a predicate as a parameter for a method. So let's open up Eclipse. I've created this file called predicate as parameter.java, imported the uh, java.util.list, java.util.arrays objects, and then the java.util.function.predicate interface. Now, I did a tutorial on predicates quite a few videos back, but just to remind everyone who's forgot or for people who are new to this series, a predicate is a functional interface. Um, it returns either true or false, so it basically takes some variable object, whatever you want to call it. It'll take some sort of uh, you know, string or number, and it will return true or false. So you'll have some sort of number that you're testing, and there's basically some sort of condition that's evaluated, true or false is returned. And predicates, as I've showed you, are really useful for filtering. They are uh, really good for making your code more dynamic, and they also make your code a lot more dry. What does dry mean? Well, dry is a computer science acronym, which means don't repeat yourself, so cuts down on repetition. Now, I've already created this list here that just has some random integers in them. I just picked some random numbers off the top of my head. Now, let's get started. So what we're going to do so we're going to make this public static method, so public static void, and we're going to call this print filter. What print filter is going to do is it's going to take a list of integers, so list integer inside the uh, open and close uh, greater than less than signs, and we're going to call this list nums. It's also going to take some predicate. Now when working with predicate, you have to specify the type. Well, in our case, the type is an integer. So it's going to be an integer that's being evaluated. And this predicate is going to be called condition. Now, what we're going to do is for a for loop. So for each number that we have, I'm going to call it num from our list nums. Well, then we are going to have an if statement. So if num, oh sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So if condition dot test. So what this does is it takes the predicate and we're going to test some object to see if it meets this condition. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to, so, so like I said, condition dot test and we're going to pass in our num object. Num integer, I guess, not really an object. Okay, now. If we get a true, well, then we're going to print this number out. So if it meets our condition, print it out. So system dot out dot print ln, and it's just going to print out num. All right. So let's test this up here in our public static void main method. Let's do a couple uh, tests. So this is going to be test one, I guess. All right, and what I want to do, first I'm going to just print out test one. That way we can tell them apart. So test one. And what this, what we're going to do now is we're going to call upon our print filter method. So print filter. Our parameter is going to be num list. And then our predicate, we're going to have... We'll just take some uh, random variable x, our arrow token, and then for the body of this lambda expression, we are going to say uh, x is greater than 5. So remember, a predicate can be a lambda expression. So if this lambda expression um, is just evaluating some sort of truth, so it's just get it returning a truth value, we can use that as our predicate. So we're going to put a lambda expression as the parameter. All right, so save that. Let's run it, see what happens. So test one. It's printed out 8, 9, and 7. OK, ignored 2 and 3, printed out 10 and 7. So that was completely fine. Now just to show you a little bit more on predicates. Oops, test two. So a predicate 
like I said, returns either true or false. So we could always just put true here. And you know what that means? That means it's going to print out every single element of the list. We can also do the same thing with false. So here we will So there you go, you can see test three, nothing got printed out because regardless of the number, the condition always evaluated to false. Here, regardless of the number, it always evaluated to true. Here, the number that we took is the parameter for this predicate slash lambda expression. Um, the body of the expression returned true if that number was greater than five, and then false, you know, otherwise. Alright, so that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe or test the request any tutorials in the comments below, and I will see you next time.